Hello, my name is Brittany and welcome to Family Friday's Paint Night. A few words before we begin. Thank you for your continued interest and support for this workshop. You can expect a new video every third Friday of the month for the foreseeable future until we can resume classes in person at the Art and Spirituality Center. Speaking of which, there are other classes being held virtually if you are interested in taking any of those. I'll leave the link to our virtual calendar in the description box below. As a reminder, my class was made to promote bonding between family and friends. You do not need to be an artist to enjoy art. My art isn't perfect, so don't think yours needs to be either. To all those participating in this activity, I want you to try your best and don't worry about the outcome. My hope is for you to let go, get lost in the artistic process, and forget about what's currently happening in the world, even just for a little bit. One last thing before we begin. Feel free to pause, rewind, fast forward, mute, or do anything you need in order to follow along with this video. I normally take over three hours to complete a painting even though my class runs about two and a half hours. For the sake of time and to make a short video, the clips you see of me painting are sped up significantly. Please, by all means, relax and take your time. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Here is what we will be painting for February of 2021. Disclaimer, this is not my original artwork as I found it somewhere on the internet. I do not take credit for this concept and I wish I could find the original artist to give credit. Think of this as a study of the original artwork. Here we have a scene of birch trees with colorful rainbow leaves in front of a black background. Feel free to take artistic control, change the colors, make additions or adjustments, or change it up completely. The choice is yours. Alright, let's talk about paint. We'll be using acrylic paint for this activity. You can use the fancier, more expensive paints if you want to. For this project, I'll be using paints you can find at your local craft store or even Walmart that are less than $1. We'll need a few colors, purple, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, lime green, blue, sky blue, black, and white. We'll need a few brushes today, a large flat brush, a medium flat brush, a medium brown brush, mine is flat with rounded corners, and a thin detail brush. Optional materials, pencil, a white colored pencil, or a white acrylic paint pen. Some other materials we will need, something to put under the canvas or canvas board, such as a tablecloth or newspaper. You can also use a mat board like this one I've used several times. Of course, you need something to paint on. I personally will be using a canvas board, 12 by 16 specifically. You can use an actual canvas of any size too. Then we have our paints. You'll need a plate to put the paint on. You can also use a palette if you have one a water cup to clean your paint brushes, and lastly, a paper towel or an old towel. I have a towel I've used plenty of times for other paintings as you can see here. Okay, order of operations how this painting will go. First, we'll paint the background all black, then we will sketch out all of the trunks of our birch trees and the ones in the background as well. Then we will paint all of our trees using black, white, and gray. And then lastly is the fun part with the colorful leaves. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is pour out some black paint and then we will do the background. Just letting you know, I'm not going to do much talking through this video, um, how I'm doing this. It's pretty simple actually, it's just doing the trunks of the trees and then the colorful leaves. And the most time you're going to spend is the trunks of the trees. So I'm going to show you and walk you through how to do the first one. And then after that, it's just the same concept on all of the others. So just sit back and enjoy the music. But right now we are just going to work on our black background.
Okay, now I am getting my acrylic paint pen. Um, I just got these on Amazon in a pack of 10 or 12, and they're really good, especially for drawing on darker surfaces. So off camera, I already sketched out where I want the trunks of my trees to go, and for the most part, these are going to be covered by all of our colored leaves, but I'm still going to make them um, as detailed and realistic as I possibly can. So I'm starting off with the biggest tree, um, which is on the right side of the canvas, probably about two inches wide. That's going to go all the way from the top and the bottom of the canvas. And then I'm going to draw one extended branch and another little piece coming off of that. And then it's just a matter of where you want the others to go. Um, you can make some of the tree trunks a little bit thicker, some of them in the background I'm simply just going to paint a darker gray so it's going to be really thin but I'm still going to mark off where I want those to go. So right now we are just going to draw out where we want our trees to go. Okay, so as I mentioned before, um, the trees and painting the tree trunks are going to take the longest, um, and I simply was just taking my time. So you can make these as detailed as you want to, um, you can do a different color if you want, it is completely up to you. But starting off these birch trees, I am first going to paint a pretty thin layer of white. Um, I don't need to get it as solid or opaque as um, we have done in the past for other paintings and that's because we're going to consistently dip into the black and mix it with the white and it's going to make gray and it's just going to give it a more realistic texture of the birch tree. So right here I'm just putting on a basic quick layer of white. And now I am going to dip on into the black and with my medium flat brush I'm going to angle it and hold it in my hand to where it's the thinnest um, kind of looking like a minus sign and I'm just gonna go back and forth no rhyme or reason to it and just um, mix that black in with the white that we just put down and then I'll dry off my brush and dip into some white and together it'll make gray and that's just basically how I'm doing it. Um, if you're not familiar with the texture or what it looks like, you can always Google a picture. That definitely helps. But this is the technique that I'm going to be doing for all of the tree trunks. And I don't need to explain it every single time. 
so I'm going to go ahead and just pause for now and I will meet back up with you again when we are going to add the leaves. So sit back and enjoy the music, have fun with this part. If you need to clean up the edges um, of the tree trunks, you'll see me doing that as well, just going back in with my black paint and cleaning it up a little bit. So um, just have fun and I will check back in in a bit.
hands now with my thin detail brush I'm going to mix a dark gray and all of my birch trees that are in the background I am just going to paint some thin lines which represent thin trees um, just to give it a little bit more dimension that some trees are in the foreground compared to the background. Okay, let's start adding leaves to our trees. So the first layer of color that I'm going to put on is like a dark olive green and a dark kind of burgundy red color. And this is just um, the first layer that we're gonna do. And these are going to give us the illusion that there are trees in the distance or that these leaves are, again, in the background compared to the foreground. So with my medium flat brush that has the rounded corners, um, you can also use just a regular round brush that you have. I'm just going to first start with that dark red color and I'm gonna put that mainly towards the left side. Again, this is probably gonna cover a lot of the birch trees that we did, um, but I'm just going to keep dabbing them and just mainly focusing on where the black is in our background and towards the right side of the canvas I am going to do that green and then in the middle I'm kind of just going to blend them together and I will let that dry before we move on to our very bright colors.
right, we made it. This is the very last step of what we're going to do. So I'm first pouring out some red, orange, and yellow. I'm mainly going to focus the red, orange, and yellow kind of towards the top, the top left specifically. And I'm just alternating the colors. First I'll go in with the red, then I'll dry off my brush. I'll go in with the orange, dry off my brush, go in with the yellow, etc, etc. That's how I did this. So between then, we can also add in all of our other fun colors. We have the hot pink, the purple, the two greens. Of course, these blues and these purples and the greens, you can make these colors um, by using the basic ones that you have. You don't need to go out and buy anything in particular, any special thing. So right now, it's just having fun. Um, this is craft paint that I'm using, so it is a little bit more fluid than some other more expensive acrylic paints that are a little bit more stiff. So with the example painting, I believe I used um, one of the higher end acrylic paints or oil paints, and they also used a palette knife. So each time we press our brush onto the canvas, um, by the second or third touch, um, less paint is on there. So you're going to consistently see me just going back for more paint so it's more of a brighter solid color. Um, again, you can use different paints if you want to, um, but this is just how it's going to look with the tools and supplies that I have. So go ahead and have fun. This is the fun part. It doesn't last very long. <laughs> um, again, the, the birch trees in the background took the longest to do. But this was definitely the most fun. So I'm going to go in with my pink, purple, blues, greens, and then once it gets towards the bottom of the canvas, I'm going to get my darker green and my darker blue and just kind of fade it towards the background, meaning just not as much paint on my brush. So it just looks like there's more trees in the distance that we can't see the brightness of the leaves. So go ahead and have fun, and I'll see you in a little bit.
And that is it my friends. Good job if you made it this far and completed the painting. I'm happy with my finished product and I hope you are with yours too. If your painting looks different from mine, that is totally fine. As you know, I miss everyone and I really wish I were with my family Friday class painting alongside them. I'm also happy to know that more people have had the chance and opportunity to do art safely at home and on their own time. I hope these videos bring you joy and you were able to relax and not worry about the current events of the world, even just for a little bit. Please stay safe, have a great rest of your weekend, and I'll see you next time.